be a really huge the Olympic effect in it and reach all the way down there. This year, our speaker is Randy Altman. As a student at Greenville High School, Mr. Altman participated in many aspects of school life. Not only was Mr. Altman a part of the college football team, but he was also president of the library club and editor and photographer for the year. He also participated in many numerous theater performances and was even a member of Pet Club. <coughs> majoring in TV and radio broadcasting, and minoring in public relations. Once he completed college, Mr. Alderman started to get involved in the community. In 1990, he ran the Frank Watson campaign. He then became very active in the JCs. He also brought the Relay for Life to Greenville, serving as chairman for the first three years. Mr. Alderman has served as the director of the Chamber of Commerce, the director of the Tourism Commission, and has currently worked at Bradford National Bank for the past 18 years and is now the marketing director. Since he has worked at the bank, he was named one of the 10 most outstanding people in Illinois in 2000 and was also named the rising star in bank marketing by Independent Banking in 2007. Mr. Alderman married Amy Liddell in 1990 and has four children. Randy Alderman is a role model to his community and in his job and is an inspiration to his family. I'm very proud to introduce to you my father, Mr. Randy Tonight. <laughs> I, was, uh, 
I was just an average student in high school. My senior year, I needed an English credit to graduate. So I served as an editor of the yearbook. Back then, if you were on the yearbook, you actually got high school credit for it. And I found out something about myself. I really enjoyed photography. I could do layout design. And I was a pretty decent writer. That one class changed my life. I took what I learned in that program and made it my career, both professionally, working at the local newspaper and radio station, the Chamber of Commerce, uh, Greenville Tours, and now at Bradford National Bank, but also as a volunteer with the JC's Relay for Life, Mission Work, and other great clubs and organizations. This, the point is, small things can be life-changing. Had I not taken that yearbook class 30 years ago, my life could have been, probably would have been, significantly different. What you do today, choices you make today, will affect you for the rest of your life. I have two challenges tonight for the class of 2011. The first one is simple. Experience life. Take chances. Enjoy new things. Your life journey is filled with choices, good choices, and the next great adventure is right around the corner. Richard Rogers is graduating tonight. And I heard this story a couple of weeks ago, and i got to share it. His junior year, Richard decided to take art so he could share a class with his girlfriend. <laughs> Little did he know that Richard had a hidden talent other than smashing people on the football field. Richard is a good artist. He could take a lump of clay and mold it into something beautiful. During his sixth grade year, I chaperoned my son Ryan on a Bravo trip to see the Nutcracker. When the performance was over, Ryan looked at me and said, well, I can check that off of my list of things to do in life. <laughs> That's the entire point I'm trying to make um, with the first challenge. We live in a great, big, wonderful world filled with opportunity and all kinds of cool stuff. And if you don't believe me, just Google cool stuff to do and you'll, and you'll find out. You may find you have a hidden talent, a hidden passion, um, or you can just enjoy the experience and move on to the next great adventure. Pulitzer Prize winning author Anna Quinlan said, it's so easy to waste our lives, our days, our hours, our minutes. It's so easy to exist instead of live. Don't do that. Spend your life pursuing your dreams, exploring out of the way places, meeting new people, trying new things. Have you ever scraped the bottom of a mixing bowl trying to get the last bit of ice cream or cookie dough or cake mix? Live your life like that. Live your life like it's a mixing bowl and get all you can out of it. My second challenge is this. Be a volunteer. Volunteers are what make a community great. I am what I am today in large part to the many great organizations that I volunteer for. Some of the richest people in the world are not millionaires, they're volunteers. You have a lifetime of volunteer opportunity ahead of you. Join a civic club, assist in the senior center, a nursing home, donate to a charitable cause, get involved in your church, work on a political campaign. The opportunities to volunteer are endless and the rewards are great. President Woodrow Wilson said, you are not here merely to make a living. You are here in order to enable the world to live more amply, with greater vision, with finer spirit of hope and achievement. You are here to enrich the world. Someone once told me that the road to success is not crowded because most people are looking for ways to take. The truly successful people are finding ways to give. The world needs more volunteers, and you, the class of 2011, are ideal candidates. What you do affects those around you and others that remain unseen. Giving of one's time and talent is a selfless act and that is both fulfilling and rewarding. And now you are at the end of your required education. Though it's true, you'll continue learning your entire life. What you do from this point forward is up to you. Some of you are heading off to college or trade school. Some are joining the military. Others are jumping right into the workforce. On behalf of all the parents here tonight, I'd like to remind you that doing nothing is not an option. <laughs> Choose wisely. Abraham Lincoln said it best. Whatever you are, be a good one. In a blink of an eye, you'll be pushing 50, put on a few pounds, maybe. Maybe you're thinning a little bit on top. And you'll wonder where the time went. There's more to this great big world of ours than Facebook or Foursquare or MySpace. Get out of your comfort zone, log off of that computer, put down the cell phone, live life, be life.
Take to heart and live the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom, understanding, right judgment, courage, knowledge, reverence, wonder, and awe. The challenges that are ahead of you pale in comparison to the opportunities that await you, but it's up to you. Remember, the easiest day of your life was yesterday, and the, happy, the most exciting day of your life is tomorrow. And the happiest people don't always have the best of everything. They just make the most of everything. So what are you going to do? Thank you for this incredible honor tonight. Okay, congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2011. Live your life to the fullest. Take chances, make good choices, have fun, and be happy. <laughs>